First open in 2002. There's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. Both teams emerging from the Ford Field tunnels just a short time ago. And of course, the loudest cheers were reserved for the hometown Lions. They're set to go as they will match up. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line with the Chicago Bears. Now a play fake here on first down. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 23 yards on the play. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one, and that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. They go play action here on first down. Hits his target, it's Taylor Gabriel. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A very solid gain of 27. Now they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? A first trip to the red zone for the Bears. First and 10 at the 19. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. This will be caught just inside the 10. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 12 more yards there and another first down. Brandon, lest my eyes deceive me, I think they found a matchup that they're trying to exploit here, don't you? I mean, that's the second time they've gone to him here on this drive. Yeah, opening drive. It's a tone setter, right? I think they're going to be looking his way a lot. Yeah, and I think that the way things are going right now, they like him as a featured receiver. Let's see what kind of adjustments the defense is going to make to try and take that away. He'll get it up the middle. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second in goal. That run didn't get very far, and I think when you're looking at his dimensions, he's a little bit on the smaller side. He's counting on the big guys up front to escort him in, and they couldn't create any kind of space for him, could they? Yeah, didn't get the push they needed. Howard all alone in the backfield on second and goal. Here's Trubisky. And nearly an interception here on their opening drive. But instead, third down. The pressure there was definitely enough to make him alter his throw because if he had had time, he had a man wide open and had a chance to get it to him. Yeah, I think if he had just another split second, that's a completion and a touchdown. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. From the shotgun is Trubisky. And this is going to be incomplete. But they took the shot, didn't get it. There's definitely a difference here because they had a chance to get seven, maybe eight if they pushed it. Instead, they'll likely settle for three. Yeah, opening drive, holding him to three. Psychologically, maybe a win for the defense. Now Cody Parkey out to try the field goal. This a fairly straightforward 22-yard short attempt. And Parkey's kick is good. And it's 3-0. The Bears hit the scoreboard first. So a nice drive on the road. You come in, you take the ball down, you get three points. Yeah, points are a must on an opening drive, right? So they moved it down efficiently, got it done. I think that bodes well for their chances moving forward in this one. Parkey now following the made field goal to kick this one off. Here's Powell on the return. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at their own 22. Now it's Stafford. And incomplete to open things up. The tight end Luke Wilson was the target. And now it's second down. Let's face it, you can run the route tree 
as many times as you want, get in sync, practice it, do all those things. But once you get to game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. That one goes incomplete. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Play action, Stafford. And incomplete there, a nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion, kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. <laughs> Nothing doing on that one, and it'll be fourth down. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. Tariq Cohen is deep for the Bears. Just a yard return there after a punt of 49. And the Bears take over. The Bears about to gain possession again, and this is a team that's still atop the NFC North, though they did see their three-game winning streak come to an end in tough fashion in Miami. You know, they lost by three, and that was a game, though, that they led for most of it. Certainly did. Look at the leads they had, 14-7, 21-10, 28-21. And with as well as their defense has played this year, you would have thought they'd be able to put this one away. I think this is going to be a game for their head coach, Matt Nagy, to be able to look at his team and say, guess what, guys? We've played well, but we haven't arrived. That three-game winning streak is gone now because we let one get away. Let's see if they can get refocused and get ready for the New England Patriots. Trubisky playing with a lot of confidence. Nine touchdown passes in his last two starts. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. On first down, Trubisky. He's going to launch this thing way down. And that's caught inside the 30. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. That's a big time pitch and catch right there. And partner, I remember the days when quarterbacks would try this. They were holding their breath. But nowadays, they're counting on their receiver to be just a little bit better than the defensive back when it's one-on-one -on -one and the ball's in the air like that. On first and 10, it's Trubisky. That's complete to the Memphis man, Anthony Miller. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Now Howard, and they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Two yards on the pick up there, but it's enough to give him a new set of downs. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Looking to throw Trubisky on first down. And his throw here is incomplete. The coverage that time excellent by Nevin Lawson. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it. If you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Trubisky with a give to Howard. They showed off a nice juke of the defender before the next wave could bring him down. A nice job to get eight there after the incompletion, and now they'll look at a third and two coming up. And that was a good run. This was only one of nine guys to go over 1,000 yards in 2017, and I think you can't let him run wild here. What do you think, 100 yards, the measuring stick? Always. That is the threshold. You want to keep him under that if you want to play good defense. They'll try to run for it with Howard. And brought down, but not before he was able to break the tackle, and the extra effort moves the sticks.
Out of the gun, Trubisky got his man and it's caught for a Chicago touchdown. Trey Burton, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Bears will extend their lead. Trey Burton was a guy that flashed during his years with the Eagles, but he's always stuck as the third option behind Zach Ertz and Brent Sellett. Now, with the Chicago Bears, definitely going to get his shot. Versatile player delivered right there with a touchdown catch. Parkey adds the extra point, and the lead grows to 10 0. Here's Parkey now, set to kick it away. Here's Powell on the return. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. And Detroit getting set to go now. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Stafford on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Uh, you got a young quarterback, you know, maybe that's just an example of a growing pain for him. I think you're right about that because when the game starts to move fast and it moves quickly on him, a lot of times they fall back on what they know best, their arm. He's, he's slinging it on this one. Had a wide open target, but didn't have the proper footwork to increase his accuracy. The first carry now, this is Johnson. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs, but the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. Single, single. Set, lady. Throwing on third down, Stafford. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. I think the punter might start to get into a pretty good rhythm here if he keeps getting opportunities. But that's the last thing his team wants to have happen, right? The last thing you want to see is your punter feeling pretty good because he's out there all the time. Yeah, first quarter only, but they're 0 for 2 on third down conversions to start this thing. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Fielded just inside the 20. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Now Trubisky on first down. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And incomplete there, almost picked off. That's one you maybe expect your roaming free safety to come up with. But it's second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Second and 10 now, it's Trubisky. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Burton. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. That catch good for five. It's third down. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where 
every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. A gain of eight and a first down. I definitely like the play call. You don't expect hey, hey, it on third and five, third and six, do you? You expect a pass play. Had a little courage there to call the run, and boy, they were successful. A good run by Jordan Howard, and now another first and ten. They'll throw on first down with Trubisky. And his throw is going to be incomplete. The coverage that time excellent by Nevin Lawson. And that's twice now already in this first quarter that he's been able to knock a ball away. They're going to need that from him and plenty more if they want to slow down this passing game. Thus far, though, he's been a ball magnet. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. A give to Howard, and he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Damon Harrison, the one on the stop. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. The Bears on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and ten. From the gun, it's Trubisky. Now Trubisky lost the football. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. And Detroit getting set to go now. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. From his own goal line, Stafford. Wilson snags it left side. And this one will be taken up. They'll spot it right at the seven. The completion good for three, and it's second down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Here's a second and seven now from their own seven. This is the newest member of the Lion backfield, LeGarrette Blunt. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. They'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone so they could use something here on third down. They stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. And he's going to be taken down shy of the five-yard line. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. Well, they got off the field on third down. An excellent job, an excellent defensive series. We always talk about adjustments, and usually only at halftime. But the best teams adjust series to series. And on that series, they adjusted so well that they got the job done in fine style. And it's fielded at the 34. A nice job on the return there, 16 yards. And it'll be a short field for the Bears as they take over first and 10. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides, each head coach. Can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. And the big guy catches the ball out of the backfield, and oftentimes that's quite a surprise to the guys playing defense because not ordinarily thought as a pass catcher, it often works when they decide to dial it up. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. 
Now Trubisky to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Miller. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness, there's a premium for all of that now. This is Howard on second down. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis back with you as it's Bears football here to begin quarter number two. They've got a third down and a yard to start things out. They'll run it now out of the gun. And the broken tackle helps lead to a first down gain. Give them three yards and a fresh set of downs. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath, they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? It's important to do, especially early in the game like they have. From the red zone now, here's Trubisky on first down. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Now Trubisky. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. But well, nothing takes a start to have a good drive quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Let's see what they draw up here. Third and long following the sack of Trubisky. Here's Trubisky to throw. And it's incomplete, almost intercepted. He had a great shot of picking that off in the end zone. It brings up fourth down. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. And Parkey's kick is good. And that'll push the lead up to 13 to nothing. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. now following the made field goal to kick this one off. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here come the Lions now. The results for them so far not that great. Well, not good at all. Three drives, three punts. Yeah, and now what you're doing is you're looking at your play sheet trying to figure out what you're going against defensively. I wonder, are they showing them something they haven't seen or anticipated in practice and maybe that's throwing them off? Or do they just have to go to a different play calling section and try and run some offense that way? And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. Give him five on the carry there and it'll be second down. And there's the pickup you want on first down. All offenses say, you get me four on first down, we'll take it. How about if you get five, they'll really be happy. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Set, 180. On second down, Johnson. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. It's a loss of two. Now third down. When you're putting together a formula for winning defense, it's exactly what we're seeing in this game. Controlling the line of scrimmage, attacking, and changing everything so that now they're playing in the offense's backfield. They're playing an excellent game. Hey, 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 hey. Set. To throw on third down, Stafford. 
And the pressure gets to him and brings him down. Stafford is sacked. Khalil Mack coming in to drop him for a loss of eight, and it'll be fourth down. Well, someone's been up to the task so far in this game. They are already up a couple of scores, Brandon, and guess what? I think they're just going to pin their ears back now and get upfield and get after the quarterback. Been such an impressive first half to get that lead. This will be fielded at the 17. They'll call that a punt of 59 yards. Tough to do better than that. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it ends up... And oh, we caught it up! Wow, that ball gets knocked free. But a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. <laughs> on second down, here's Trubisky. To the right side, complete to Miller. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now it's Trubisky. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. A gain of 32 that time. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play has them all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. On first down, they run with Howard. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Floating one incomplete. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is it allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Now it's Trubisky. The screen pass here to Cohen. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. And give him nine yards on the second down screen play. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid gain. The Bears on third down. They've hit it 50%. Three of six to this point. They're up against a third and one situation. They run play action for Howard. Now Trubisky. They'll roll him out right. He can run for it, and he will. And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. It's a gain of six as they're able to convert, and now it's first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Bears. A great play there. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Bears will add on to their lead. Now Parkey for the extra point. 
Parkey with the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Here's Parkey now, set to kick it away. The return man here, T.J. Jones. He can't get him down. And a good return up past the 30, but was it aided by an illegal block or a hold? Let's see. So holding will scratch off some of that return. And I know fans get frustrated when they see penalties of this sort on kick returns, but it is difficult to do it right against these moving targets at full speed. Hard to do. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. On first and 10, Stafford. He's going to float this one deep right. This is intercepted. Picked off by Kyle Fuller. And some room to work. Oh, man, Brandon, not a real good throw that time. It looked like he tried to put a little too much air under this one, and it turned into a floater. And defensively, this is a dream. He could have fair caught that one. That was way too easy. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. If you run an out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up, and making sure it was a catch. On second down, Trubisky, throw left side, complete. It's Burton, and he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. Trubisky fighting the former Eagle Burton for the Chicago first. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he's got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. On the handoff, this is Howard. Sean Robinson there on the stop. Double this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. Now Trubisky to throw on second. This is caught. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Trey Burton with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bears will extend their lead. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. Parkey adds the extra point, and the route is on here in this first half. Here's
Here's Parkey now set to kick it away. Now Jones. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. And Detroit getting set to go now. Typically down to the first half, I might say, oh, you at least need a field goal out of this drive. <laughs> but they're down to the point where they need a touchdown, don't they? Yeah, normally, you know me. I mean, you've been around me for a while now, right? Unfortunately. I'm the, yeah, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but normally, I'm the one pr uh, preaching patience. Yeah. You know, take your time. First half, you still got a chance. I think they're out of patience here. This has to be a drive that gets a touchdown. So if you're the play caller, you're going to that portion of the sheet that says big time plays, specials, anything you can use to get yourself back into it. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. And partner, I think that was a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. On second down, here's Stafford. This is Riddick on the screen. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They mark him down at the 39. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. Now a first down throw. Stafford. He hits Riddick underneath. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Give him six on the play, and it'll make it a second down. Stafford looks to throw again. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Set, to the air again, Stafford. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. Seems like this defense, especially the secondary, has really been contesting about every throw in this first half. Remind me of a good half-court defensive basketball team. Every time a pass is thrown, they're right there in good, good defensive position, able to affect the play. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Onto the field now come the Bears. They are just putting things together so well here, drive after drive. They really have captured the momentum, haven't they? They've taken momentum and pretty much not just give them a jersey, but a seat on the bench as well. Whatever do you need, you've got it because the way they're stringing things together and creating that distance between them and their opponent, it's really hard to narrow that gap. And the other part is they're taking their spirit away from them too. And now they're, and he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Jared Davis. And he'll return this ball across midfield to the 47-yard line. Offensively, when you see cover two, the thought has to go through the quarterback's head. Drive the football when making throws. It's not just the deep guys covering. It's the guys underneath you have to be careful of. Drive your throw. Otherwise, you see what results? Interceptions. Call it a loss of two on the play. And that'll make it second and 12. Now Stafford. And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. As they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. After the sack, Stafford and the Lions come up on a third and long situation. Three down, you ready? Move 16. Now a carry for Blunt, and he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. 
Now the Bears electing to call a timeout defensively as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Here's Sam Martin now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. The Bears offense now gets set to head back onto the field. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead, but a mistake there, that can change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Trey Burton, the one he was looking for. And that'll bring up second down. Well, let's take a step back and look league-wide here, Charles. What contender do you think is in the most trouble through six weeks? I would not have thought Jacksonville a couple of weeks ago, but, boy, very flat performances against KC and Dallas. Yeah, and we expect them to be a dominant team on the defensive side of the ball week in and week out, and Dallas just shredded them in their game on Sunday. But I don't think Jacksonville's in as much trouble as maybe Denver is. Denver's 2-4. and four. Four straight losses, and Kansas City setting a heck of a pace in the AFC West. Vance Joseph, the second-year coach in Denver, many thought he wouldn't return after last year. Got a second opportunity. This isn't helping him. And last but not least, if we're talking about this group of people, how about the Atlanta Falcons? They're also 2-4, and four, but they got a much-needed win against Tampa Bay on Sunday. If we knew they could get their defensive players back, I'd like them a lot more. They've got a tough road ahead of them, but Matt Ryan... He can help equalize things out. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. Well, this gives us a chance to look ahead to some big week seven games upcoming. New England, Chicago, that's intriguing. Carolina and Philly, you have that game. And then how about Dallas and Washington? They're a combined six and five, but they're playing for first place in the NFC East. And just think, Dallas and Washington fans... When they have children, the first words they teach them are, we hate that rival team. <laughs> and now they're going to get after for first place in the East. The records aren't great, but the rivalry is strong. New England, Chicago. Chicago let one get away last week against Miami. But still, they have high hopes in the NFC North. And they get to test their medal against a perennial champion, the New England Patriots. And Carolina, Philly. Carolina had a tough one in Washington last week. Philadelphia, big win last Thursday against New York against New York Giants in New York. That's a big, big ball game for both of them. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Burton. And he gets it down to the 48, enough for the first. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Lions offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working and call more of that. That'll be taken in there by Kenny Galladay. And he takes this thing way down into Chicago territory. It's a big play there for the Lions. 56 yards. Similar to a slant, it's all about timing when you're throwing a crossing route. Quarterback and receiver have to be in sync, and when they put it on them just right and catch it full speed, running through a defense, can often result in a big pickup of yardage. From the red zone now, Stafford. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They look like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. They'll run up a 
Johnson. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. Every team we ever talk to that continues to run the ball in a game, even when they haven't had much success, all talks about attrition, don't they? If you keep running it, eventually good things are likely to happen. It's been a hard go in this game today, hasn't it? Yeah, this defense, they've met pretty much every challenge in front of them this afternoon. They're still trying to run the ball, but they're not finding much space. Stafford. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. It's the fullback, a one-yard touchdown reception. And the Lions are able to draw a bit closer. And he wasn't blocking or running it there. They tossed it to him. And you remember the good old days when the 49ers were riding roughshod in the league? They use their fullback in pass plays all the time. Roger Craig, Tom Rathman, those guys were terrific at running these types of plays. Extra point good by Prater. And the lead now down to 20. Martin the putter now out to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 27. Out of the gun, Trubisky over the middle complete. That's Burton. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. They are pushed back five yards by the delay of game, second and eight. From the shotgun is Trubisky. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pick up there, 22. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Now Trubisky on first down, and it's complete. The tight end, Deion Sims. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Glover Quinn there on the stop. He's fumbled already once, Charles. I'm not going to say that that was in his mind there, but I'm sure that during some of these plays, he is mindful of it. And once you fumble the ball, you know what your team tells you and your coaching staff? Take care of it, rest of the game. And that does get in your mind a little bit, and sometimes that slows down your effort in trying to get free from tacklers. And the defenders know it too. They sniff that out, don't they? Everybody wants to swarm the football. You know the rule is, first guy hold up the runner, everyone else try and get there and strip the ball free. Really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. 
<laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size, you can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. On first down, Trubisky. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Sims. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. A good pick up there, a 22. I'd have to say they're feeling like they are in rhythm right now. Things are in sync, aren't they? Team's winning, got a nice little margin on the scoreboard, completing some passes, and they just completed another one for a first down there to the tight end. On first and goal, Howard. And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And now they're looking for the big boys to get him in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game? Now Trubisky to throw toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Allen Robinson, the intended receiver, and it's third and four. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. Throwing here, Trubisky, and that's incomplete. That was a difficult catch, and I admire the fact that he actually caught the football, worked so hard to get his feet down inbounds, tried to do the toe tap. Like my dad's an accomplished tap dancer. I'm not sure he would have gotten his feet in on that one. Is he really, by yeah, the way? That, that he is. How about that? What about young Davis? No, no, it did not. It did not cross it didn't generation. carry over. No, it stopped right there. And Parkey's kick is good. And that lead will move from 20 up now to 23. So three field goals that he's hit. Now this last one helps him stretch out the lead. He's been solid, hasn't he? And he lives up to the adage that every offensive coach has ever said to us. We want to end every possession with a kick, right? For them, it's either extra point, field goal, or at worst, a punt. In this case, it's been threes. Parkey now following the made field goal to kick this one off. Now Jones. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. And Detroit getting set to go now. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's we'll see what they decide to do. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at their own 27. From the gun, here's Stafford. To the right and complete to Galladay. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And a nice little quick spin move before he's dropped. And a pretty good gain. That one good for 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. Oh, nearly picked. And yeah, maybe lucky there. This guy doesn't drop many defensively. Third down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands. 
unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. To throw is Stafford. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Khalil Mack in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. Looks like another empty possession here, partner, and I don't think with three scores down in the third quarter, they can truly afford any more the rest of the way. No, especially the way their offense is sputtering. I think you're exactly right. They got to find some answers quickly. And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. The Bears offense now getting ready to take over. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. That is incomplete. Well, switching gears for a second, a, a neat moment before Pittsburgh's game last week. Everybody knows James Conner and how he dealt with cancer. Ten-year-old in the crowd, Charles, had a sign that he was holding, and this kid is also dealing with cancer. James Conner went over to him, met him, gave him a word of encouragement, and, and signed some things for him. That was really nice. Really cool, isn't it? Because James Conner understands what that young man's going through. I believe his name is Levi. Got his attention. They're kindred spirits. And James Conner also showed him by his play and being back out there, beat this, overcome it, and go out and live your life the way you want to live it. And he's living it in a big way in the NFL right now, having a terrific season. And over 100 yards again this past week. Yeah, what a great story and crucial catch month in the NFL. The Bears on third down. They're hitting at 60%, 6 out of 10 thus far. This is third and 10. Trubisky will throw. And that will be incomplete as well. I don't know. He had to be pretty quick with his fingers to start and stop after the ball hit the ground. I'm giving him some credit. Well, I'm thinking about the mental focus, you know? Yeah. Well, the mental focus. Yeah, on that's true. got to stay with it. That's true. Here's Pat O'Donnell now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Jones on the return. Give him 11 yards that time on the return, and the Lions will take over. The Lions offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Now a play fake here on first down. Open man is Galladay complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. And another thing that makes the comeback route really effective is that oftentimes after you've made the initial move, receivers breaking away from the defensive back, and that makes it a really tough play to defend. A nice chunk of yardage picked up there. On first down, Stafford here. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. It was Bryce Callahan jarring the ball free defensively. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you've got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Set, 180. Off of play action, here's Stafford. Wilson snags it left side. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. A good pick up there, a 22. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. They go play action here on first down. And he floats.
Breaks one there, incomplete. He was trying to find Marvin Jones that time. That'll bring up second down. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past, the biggest teaching point. Get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the right, air. Here, here That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Set, right 80. To throw again. Stafford to the sideline. Wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it. But he is able to keep the feet in bounds. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. Little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Set. Throwing on third down, Stafford. And probably the wise decision there. No one open, he just throws it away. And that keeps the field goal on the table as it's fourth down. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. So on fourth down, the Lions turn it over to Matt Prater for the field goal try. From the right hash, it's a 35-yard attempt. And Prater's kick is on the money. It's good. And that'll get this back down to a 20-point spread. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. Now it's Martin to do the honors after the made field goal. This is taken at the three. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. They go with Howard to begin the drive. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four third quarter and you've got the lead you're not ready to go into that four minute offense to close the game out but a running game can really benefit your team right now on second down Trubisky and this is Gabriel on the catch and he slips up past the 45 before being tackled Trubisky to Gabriel there for a Bears first down and passing yardage wise now up over 350 in this game pretty nice performance definitely that which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover if you're a defensive back and they put over 350 yards on you you've had a long day the key to everything if you're doing it without throwing interceptions or turning the ball over now Trubisky blitz coming and down he goes Devon Kennard in from his linebacker spot. He's able to drop him for a loss of about 10. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. They run with Howard. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Back now at Ford Field. It's Bears football here. They also have the lead as well as we begin quarter number four. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Again, it's Howard. 
And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. They get 12 yards back, but it still leads to a fourth and long. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Now the Lions offense, they get ready to head back out there. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Now Stafford. Out to the right here to Wilson. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? Now a first down throw, Stafford. Throw left side, taken in by Galladay. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. A shotgun snap for Stafford. Over the middle here to Wilson. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. That catch good for five. It's third down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Set, Luaney! <laughs> They'll run it now, out of the gun. <laughs> And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. On first down at Stafford. Completing it here to Marvin Jones. A good pick up there of 20 yards. If he's their best threat on offense, use your number one cover guy on defense. It doesn't matter about size. They have had him locked up. That just his first catch of the game. Big reason why they're down. Stafford going to come up first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. Set, red 80. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's going to be stopped at about the 37. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Here's Stafford now on second down. Underneath for Johnson. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Two yards on the pick up there, but it's enough to give them a new set of downs. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Stafford on first down. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. So now then the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. Set, 
They'll run it now out of the gun. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. This linebacking core, they've done a good job of keeping that running game in check, haven't they? They certainly have, and what they'll also do when this game is over is thank the guys up front, the big defensive line, because they've kept them clean, so to speak, not letting blockers get to them, allowing them to run to the football and keep that running game bottled up. Boy, and now they can't even get a playoff. He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. Can't afford another delay here as they come up again on second and goal. the penalty it's Johnson and that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield it'll be a loss of a yard and that's going to bring up an interesting third and goal crucial will those five yards be? We'll see as they come up again here, third and goal. They'll run it here with Blunt, and he'll get this one down to about the 17. Now three yards on the carry there as this defense holds strong and takes it to fourth and goal. This offense bent the defense in their long drive downfield, but once they got within sight of the goal line, the defense went to don't break mode and is stiffened. A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent. And now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. Gets this to the 24 for a gain of four. Well, Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football, but they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back in New Paltz, Mrs. Bythema Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. On third down, it's Cullen, and he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. So just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Now it's Trubisky. And his throw is incomplete. Michael Burton, the fullback, the intended target. Third down here. 
A little too much oomph, too much mustard there on that pass. Yeah, really turned it loose, didn't he? Really cut loose with that one. Sharp, strong. Didn't lead to a completion, though. Made it very difficult. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. From the shotgun is Trubisky. Finding Gabriel complete. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. And no room to maneuver there. Give him a yard up to the 47. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take, puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. On second down, here's Trubisky. Over the middle, complete. That's Sims. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. They give them 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Defensively, they're okay with that. Short little route, tackle them inbounds. Okay. All right, cliche alert. It's time for someone to make a play because they've got to have something bigger downfield. They can't just take what they give them. They've got to force it and make something big happen for them. Running with Howard. And he'll get inside the 40 to maybe the 38-yard line. They go with Howard again, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Hey, a lot of points have been scored in this game, but what a nice play by the defense. Stepping up on that one, maybe they'll get things going in their direction after a play like that. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. And they'll run it here. Accelerating, and off he goes. Touchdown, Chicago. Jordan Howard, 39 yards. And the Bears will add on to their lead. Is it okay if I break one of our rules, partner, which is to never call a game over until it's over? Because this certainly feels like it's over after that drive. Yeah, that was spirit crushing, wasn't it? And now you can—you just kind of felt the air go out of the balloon. Yeah, they were fighting so hard to stay in there, and they knew they had to stop them on that drive. But when they were unable to, I, I think you're exactly right. You could see them sag on their sideline, and I think this one might just be over. Here's Parkey now, set to kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. It'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. So the Lions offense ready to go back out onto the field. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in a game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. A good convergence there defensively, only a yard, and it's second down. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. They only got a yard out of that last completion. 
And that makes this second and nine. Out of the gun, Stafford. The left side completion to Jones. And now prior to this third and one, we're gonna get a timeout here. As they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. The Lions on third down, not getting the job done at all. A very poor one for 10. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Right back to him on first down. And he'll get this up to about the 40. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Throw on second down to Stanford. And Jones has it over the middle. Now Jones is hit. He lost the football. And I think the Bears have recovered. They have. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, saying, down this big in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. Here's Sam Martin now, as he's on to punt for Detroit. Oh, the Bears break through, and they block it. Well, we say it all the time, offense, defense, don't forget about special teams. Big punt block there. And how many coaches have told us, if we make a big play on special teams, if we find a way to score, whether it was on the play or later, 90-plus percent of the time, we win the game. Just don't hold them to those numbers. No, though. we haven't quantified it yet, but they believe it, and we have seen it happen many, many times in just that manner. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it, and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you prime the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long, everyone, from Ford Field.